Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, it's in the description box below the video. So let's get into this for Sagittarius. What's going on, Sag? What's going on? Child, naive, new beginnings, immature, young inexperienced innocent child new something's happening you got a new beginning coming in of some sort maybe a child this may be um a new beginning so let's see what's happening give me all 12 signs starting with aries what do we got You're dealing with an Aries. They're working on a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's heartbroken and betrayed. Betrayed and heartbroken. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're waiting for a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Cancer, ooh, so... They maybe have strong emotions about love or they're hiding that they're in a new beginning in love. So take it out resonates with you. If you're dealing with a Leo. There's a harsh truth in judgment. So I figure that if you're dealing with a Leo, they're making a big mistake. It was a harsh truth in judgment and judgment. So whatever they, they may have jumped to a conclusion on something or they made a mistake and they need to rectify it. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you have, it's like fate is rushing in. Fate is rushing towards you, okay? If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody here is looking back at the past mistakes that caused a tower moment. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're either upset with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or they feel like they've missed an opportunity with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. If you're dealing with another Sag, ooh, somebody's getting married. There's your new beginning right there. You're getting married, Justice in a Four of Wands. That's a, that's a marriage right there, getting hitched. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Someone's recovering or resting and recovering. Somebody may be sick, maybe in the hospital. I feel like once they get out of this hospital, once they recover from whatever they're recovering from, here they come on that horse. Like, there you go. They're trying to recover so that they can offer that cup. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like the emperor here has finished a cycle, so the, it's almost like maybe he leveled up. Something was completed. Something came to a, com a, a completion for this emperor. So maybe this is going from that king of wands energy to the emperor. If you're dealing with a Pisces. Somebody sees that you're celebrating or you're happy or you're out with friends or maybe they see you out with friends. That's a possibility here. So let's get into this. Let's see what's happening. What's this new beginning you got coming towards you, Sag? What do we got for Sag? What do we got? What's happening? What's this new beginning about? Sag, I feel like what you've got going on here is somebody may have betrayed you and you were trapped in your head about this and it caused a tower moment because you had a broken heart. But they see you're recovering. They see you're recovering. 
and you're moving on to your happiness. You're moving forward, your happiness. You may be moving towards your Ten of Pentacles. Somebody who's coming towards you with that cup um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio for a new passionate beginning. <laughs> so, first of all, what I need to tell you right off the bat, Sag, you know, the best revenge is living well, right? And if somebody is that broke your heart sees that you're over them and you've moved on to somebody else, this is a win for you, right? You closed out the cycle of all of the drama. You did. You did. This could be the emperor. The emperor has closed out the cycle of all the drama because they finished a cycle. Um, if you were dealing with an Aquarius, I do believe. They completed a cycle. They leveled up. So closing out a cycle of drama, jealousy, strife, whatever that is, you're coming in in a masculine energy, taking control of a situation, right? They're discontent and very guarded. And they want to communicate with you under the bottom of the deck, but there's no communicating with this person. You're not going to. This is like you not saying a word. They're trying to communicate to you and you're just looking at them like they got, you know, egg on their face or something. You just don't have anything to say to this person. Even if they come back, it's almost like they see you happy and they want to rain on your parade. And you're like, mm, no, I'm moving on. I got new love. Uh, who are you? What do you want? I think the restroom's around the corner. <laughs> it's like you're not, you're not going to waste time with this person because you already have this coming in. You already have moved on to your happiness in a commitment because you had somebody who wanted to be with you. They wanted to offer you that cup, right? And Queen of Cups, you're having a new passionate beginning with somebody else, and it's making somebody freaking nuts that you're happy. When Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords, right? The truth about the betrayal, you're trapped in your head about the truth about the betrayal. Could have been with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that caused that tower to fall, and now you're, you're trying to master your emotions about this heartbreak. You're healing. You're working on your healing. But they see you as, um, oh, you're working with, you're working with a pre-empress. You're working with a pre-empress. They're seeing that you're with somebody. They're seeing that you're healed and that you're with somebody new. Now they're trapped in their head about you moving on and being happy after an ending. Right? You healed. You healed so you can have this commitment, right? You cut out whatever served you. Like, this is you cutting things out. Healing and cutting, removing things that no longer serve you, right? So that you could offer your cup to somebody. And they are jealous as they could possibly be about your new woman. They are, this is a masculine Sagittarius, okay? Masculine energy. Now, um, now you could be the new person. You could be the new person, Sag, or you could be the emperor. If you're, if you're a female, you could be the queen of cups. I don't think you're the queen of pentacles here. I feel like that's somebody that's just as jealous as they could be about this person, right? And it's causing them a tower moment. They are not happy that you are happy with somebody else, that you got your groove back, right? You're ending all the drama. You're closing out that cycle, taking control. You have a new beginning here. You, it's almost like you're at a crossroads about whether or not you want to tell them, hey, I got me somebody else. I don't need you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Right? They're discontent and very guarded because you're moving forward. Oh, they want to talk to you, but you're not saying anything to them when they communicate. It's like they came up, they see you, and they want to come up to you. There you are, Sag. <laughs> you got your, your lady on your arm. You got your woman on your arm. There you are. There you are, emperor and the empress. Cannot make that up, guys. Sag, there you are. You're the emperor and the empress. 
you are all right there you know this is a past life soulmate right under the bottom of the deck they're walking away they're trapped in their head because they've been left out in the cold coulda shoulda woulda shouldn't screwed around and found out sag bless your heart that you've got new love and that you're handling your business and you're healing yourself and you're moving on to new love and leaving this past person in the past who's just this is interesting this is their energy and they're not having it they're just pissed off that little tower blew up on them it all blew up on them addictions they're they're the devil that's the devil they think there's unfinished business they're obsessed with they're thinking their unfinished business like they're going to get to reconcile with you <laughs> i can hear you laughing right now like not a chance not a freaking chance i got new love new beginnings and i am not wasting my time on that they're taking a chance they're they're trying to gamble here but you're in that honeymoon stage you're not you've completed this cycle you're in the honeymoon stage they're taking a chance but you're moving on you're you're just moving on right with somebody else you're moving on with somebody else you're leaving that lot caution that liar that that person's a liar whatever this is i i feel like Mm -mm. they're gonna they're gonna try to they're gonna try something sag don't pay any attention to them don't pay any attention to it he, don't give it any any credence don't waste your breath on it um guys that's all i have for you if that resonates with you please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you all have a very blessed day